Hey, Andre, I mean, you know, a lot of word has been that you've really the last two years really stepped up as a leader and things like that. I mean, you've been here a while. I'm curious what that process is like of kind of slowly kind of carving out that role for yourself and feeling confident to take charge of Um, Man, just really it goes back to last year, coming into last year's season, um, just seizing the opportunity. Um, you know, it was my time. So just like I said, season opportunity came. Uh, I worked hard off season. I'm like, this is this is my time. This is my opportunity. I got to take full advantage of it. Um, o definitely stayed on top of me, uh, well as my teammates, uh, well the past guys. You know, you the next man up. So what you gonna do about it? So um, I definitely um, started once I started getting a feel for the game as the season went on, and like you said, filling in that role as a leader. Um, my teammates, my coaches, felt I was that guy. So you know. Um, I just stepped into it and embraced it. And um, the guys, you know, they listened to me. Uh, they love me. So, you know, it's 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 been great. Um, but, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's I definitely, like I said, I'm embracing it. Um, and going into this season, you know, after last year's season, um, I'm just glad we have a off season, really, and a, a spring to actually um, see where we at as a team and as a defense. Hey, Andre, um, after last season, and oftentimes whenever we would talk to you, you guys were your harshest critics at, at some points. You know, coming into this year with um, you know, new defensive coordinator, how have uh, you seen this defense? What are the things that y'all are really focusing on to improve off of last year? Um, off of last year, one of the, the main things was communication. Um, communication was a, a big thing we lacked. Um, last year, everybody were on, was, was on different pages. But now, like I said, now that we have this, this spring, like me personally, I want to take full advantage of it. Uh, we didn't have this not, uh, last year, this time last year. So I really want to see where we are at as a defense and bring that what we lacked last year, which was com communication as a team. Um, I want everybody to obviously be on the same page and we communicate way better. So, you know, we uh, know what we're doing and everybody's on the same page. So. Hey, Andre, this is Glenn West here. Um, good to be talking to you again. Um, you know, it seems like one of the common messages from Bronte Jones this all season has been just, you know, how multiple he wants to be with the defense. You know, he wants to mix coverages up and get you guys in a good, better position to make plays. I mean, just what, have, what has been the message to you guys about how much different this defense will look in terms of just getting, you know, different looks and showing different looks to the offenses uh, next year? Basically, um, like he said, it – as far as player wise, he tells us all the time, you know, it'll uh, it'll go as far as we want it to go. You know, so if guys, you know, get in their playbooks, learn what they need to learn, shoot, we can do anything and everything under the sun. You know, we can change all type of looks depending on personnel, offense, uh, give us. We just we can do any, anything and disguise anything. So that's what we're looking forward to, and we're looking forward to as a defense, just being multiple and just doing different things. Having you know, you can't really game plan for what we're going to do because you never know what you're going to get. So, Hey, Andre, this is Dennis Stroud at CBS Sports. Um, if my math is right, I think this is going to be your sixth season. And I, I think I have this right. You're going to be 25 in November. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Right. What, what's this journey been like? I mean, you're on your way to adulthood here. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, honestly, like I said, opportunity, that's my biggest thing. Um, when I first, like going back to when I first got here, I wasn't able to play. I was ineligible. Uh, before uh, Miles had left, um, coming back into the season after being ineligible and for my first year, um, came back, uh, got hurt the first week of BYU week. Um, had to was out for a whole year. Came back, it was kind of hard getting back because I was out for so so long, and then just trying to get back in the 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 gist of everything. And then you have the national championship. You had you know. Guys like Caleb Vaughn, you know, Mike Divinity, guys like them watching them, learning from them. And then you, you go back to last year. And then it was, like I said, they they left, so it was my time to step up and I made the most of my opportunity. So um, for me, it's definitely been a journey for me. Um, I'm very humble about it, you know, proud of it because I've, I've been through some stuff. Um, but look where I'm at, I am today. So I'm proud of myself, you know. Coach O tells me all the time because he's, he's been on this journey with me too. So, um it's it's been a long one, but you know everybody it it everybody you know takes that that path differently. You know some it take longer than others. Some take you know it's quicker for others, but you know I embrace it. So.
Yeah, Andrew, I was just curious what the what the coaching style is like and how have you guys um, uh, acclimated to it? Uh, obviously, it's, it's, I imagine it's probably a little different, you know, and uh, do you guys find yourselves having a lot more conversations now um, because the coaches are younger and, and maybe a little bit more relatable? Definitely, definitely younger. Uh, on both sides, everybody's so so much younger. Um, we love it because they can definitely relate to us more on and off the field. Um, you can tell they they like I know for Coach Andre, like you can tell he got some game left in him. Um, like guys like that, like coaches like that, like we love that because you know they they give us energy and they they know how we are. You know they know how we feel. So I love it. I know the team loves it because everybody's so young. So they bring energy just as well. We we bring energy and sometimes we feed off them. So um, I really enjoy, and I know as uh, players, we definitely enjoy too. Yeah, uh, Amos Morale here. Wanted to ask you, um, what have you been working on, uh, you know, as you head into this next year, personally to improve on, and what have the coaches kind of really been uh, working with you on? Um, just like different, as far as like pass rush, different, you know, being more versatile, as far as like pass rush moves and stuff like that. Um, Little, you know, getting more flexibility um, off the field, you know, getting in like, you know, yoga, I started yoga and stuff like that. Just being and taking care of my body, you know, this is my last year, so I just want to take care of my body more, make sure I'm more durable, you know, ready for the upcoming season. It, whereas like last year was so short and now it's really a, a full season. So um, that really, the, that was really the, the main things. Hey, Andre, this is uh, Josh Sibley with Louisiana Grand Football. Um, going back to uh, Coach Jones's his days at, at, um, at like Bowie State, uh, I talked to some of his former players. He's actually um, challenged, he actually challenged the defense um, to not allow um, touchdowns at, at practice. Um, has he, A, has he, has he yet um, challenged you guys like that, and also um, his attacking style defense comes out. You know, he he says he can send like a, a safety, a corner, outside linebacker. Have you seen uh, things of that nature in this attacking style defense so far? Oh yes, yeah, definitely. What we we've, we've been installing. That's what it is. You never know where where it's coming from. It could be from inside. It could be from the DBs. It can be from interior. Safeties, you, you just really never know, and it's it's coming from all directions. But you never know what you're gonna get on a certain play. We might not send nothing at all, you know, just to keep the offense on their toes, you know, because sometimes we might show something is it really not may not be what you think it is. Um, but yeah, definitely. As far as like with the the touchdowns, like, of course, as a defense, we don't want we don't want the offense to score at all. Like I know times when out here, like with uh, Durante um, and other coaches previously. You don't never, as a defense, you don't want them to score at all. We always, we are always in competition with the offense, especially come scrimmages on uh, uh, Saturdays. We don't, we don't want them to score. We, we pride ourselves on that. If we, if we let them score, like we, they not scoring again. You know, we gave you a freebie maybe uh, or whatever, but it's not gonna happen again. So, you know, Andre, with you, BJ, Ali, I mean, you got a good amount of, you know, returning guys that rushing. Guess, what is the culture in that room? Are you guys all good years, but you guys have potential to do more, I guess, you guys pushing each other. What is that culture like this year? Man, we just trying to stay on it and just build off of it. Build off of last year. We know what we need to work on. We know what we did good at. Um, now it's just building building up, leveling up, um, tapping into that next level of ourselves, um, pushing. We, we stay on top of each other every day. Like we don't let nothing slide. Like I know me and Ali always going back and forth. He ain't gonna let me slide for nothing. If I miss a play or mess up something, like I know me and him stay on top of each other. And that's in the room as a whole. We always on each other butts about everything. You know, we not gonna let nothing slide because we expect more out of each other. So we stay pushing ourselves. Um, Coach Carter is the same thing. He holds us accountable for everything. No matter if you're a, a senior. Uh, if you played last year, if you just coming in, like he holds everybody accountable because at the end of the day, we all gonna need each other. You know, you never know who might go down. You might be the next man up. So you have to be ready for whatever. So yeah. We got one more. We're gonna go to Brooks for the last. Um, uh, with uh, you mentioned communication early on. I mean, what is the main difference to where you guys are communicating? 
communicating well? Um, and how are, how, are, how are they changing that to, you know, make that? Just being able to talk. Uh, basically, when that, when a call comes in, it can't just be, oh, I got the call, that's it. Like, it got to be, shoot, we relaying everybody, so everybody's on the same page. If I get the call, look, I'm telling the D-line, I'm telling the linebackers, the safety's telling me, like, we all just talking, everybody talking. If something changes as far as offense, emotion, everybody's, everybody has to talk. It can't just be like, oh, I see it, and just, you know, it's not no, it's no iron team, like they say. So it's, you got to let communicate and talk it out. Um, so that everybody's on the same page, because once 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 one person mess up, we all kind of mess up. So and everybody's off. So definitely, like I said, that communication is definitely something we we uh, pride ourselves on uh, this off season. Thanks, Andre. No problem. Thank you. Have a good day.